The Sumerian civilization was one of the first in the world and probably one of the most influential. In this video, we will show you their culture. The Sumerian civilization started at around 6,500 BC and ended at around 4,100 BC. They were surrounded by the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers, which were located in between present-day Iraq and Iran. The Sumerians invented a lot of staple things, like weapons, tools, transportation, hunting, agriculture, brewing, and the wheel. Also, different kinds of land and water vessels. Tell us what you know about the Sumerian language. It's uh, the oldest language in recorded history, and it was influential and it became widespread in the ancient Middle East and was still in use up to 1 BC, a whole 5 million The Sumerian religion was a polystyic society. Each city-state had its own god, temples, and priest kings. At the height of the Sumerian civilization, there were an estimated 3,600 gods and goddesses. Now that's a lot of gods. The Sumerians believed that humans were created by the gods out of clay, and then they were put on earth to serve and take care of the gods. Sumerian temples. If the gods weren't happy, they became cranky and took it out of people. The Sumerians believed that to keep the gods happy, they must sacrifice or give gifts to the gods. These sacrifices range from all kinds of food, grains, vegetables, etc to live animals and other goods. The gifts were give, taken to the temple called a ziggurat and given to the priest. They believed the priest could speak to the gods and offer them the gifts from the people. Sumerian technology. Sumerians believed that the universe consisted of a flat disk enclosed by a tin dome, surrounded by a saltwater sea. So, they were flat earthers. The Sumerian afterlife involved as a descent into a gloomy netherworld to spend entirely in a wretched existence as a human ghost. Sumerian gods and goddesses. The Sumerians worship the main gods, which are Nanu, which is the god of sea, and who is the god of sky, and Ki, who is the god of earth. Sumerian gods and goddesses continue. An and Ki had a child named Enlil, who was the god of air who served as the head of the god until he was banished for being unpleasant to his wife, the goddess of air, Ninlil. Enlil was sent to the underworld, while Ninlil gave birth to Nanu, god of the moon. He is also known by the name Sin. Enlil claims Nanu as his son, marries Ninlil, and he returns to the top of the Pythonian of gods, shows human the value of claiming one's wife and children. 